morning everybody it's Emily and I'm literally fresh awake <laughs> and today's the day that I can get my horse and I'm so excited I look super rough right now but hopefully that's about to change because I'm gonna get up and actually shower and all that good stuff so might fix me some cup of coffee but yeah I'll be back soon so I'm out of the shower and I'm about to get some coffee and finish packing and then I'm about to head out and I'm so excited and I still gotta dry my hair but you know it's gonna get done I'm so excited see you guys soon well your girl is packed and she's ready to go I have just have like my clothes and stuff and I have all of my stuff that I'm taking for him like horse stuff and then his feed bowl that I gotta go take over there and I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm just still driving. I've been driving for about like 25 minutes. I have the heat on because it's like 54 degrees out and I'm chilly. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going with here. This road is so windy but it's so pretty because of all the trees and stuff. Plus this time of year all the leaves are changing. So it's super neat. I love fall. Do I like winter? Not so much. <laughs> Too cold. But I will see you soon. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm on my way and the freaking like there's a freaking police chase! There was this guy that was running from this, like, driving from this police and almost hit me on the car, uh, like, on the, on the road. And he did not stop. And, like, they were flying. And then, like, I don't know what it was, but, like, literally, there was, like, five dead animals on the road. Like, I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm so freaked out right now. <laughs> that really just happened. I wonder if I'll see it on the news. But for real, that guy was running from the police. Like, he was in his car, high speed chase, not even lying with y'all. That was crazy. I've never seen that in my whole life. He was for real, but like, he was for real running from the police. I'm in shock right now. I'm at a stop sign, too. That's why I'm... Holy crap. I'm so surprised. No one's gonna believe me. Uh, but we're for real. Like, I saw, and, and also, like, I saw a dead cat, and I was, cr I wanted to cry so bad. There's, like, six different animals back there on the road. That's awful. What the heck? Well, I'm almost there, so I'll let you know when I'm there. I'm so freaking surprised right now. Like, it was this guy in the little white S10, and he almost hit me on the road. He came around that curve flying, and I was like, why is, this, why is he doing that? And then, like, not even, like, two car lengths behind him was, like, a sheriff car with its lights on and siren and everything, like, trying to pull this guy over, and he's not pulling over. He just kept flying. Hang on, I'm about to meet a car, and I really don't want to wreck, so. But, yeah, I'm almost there, and I'm so hyped. I'm thinking about trying out my new brush brushes on uh, Julie, which is my other horse. Well, I mean, she's my grandpa's horse. She's really old, so I figured I'd give her a good groom, make her feel nice. Um, and, like, test out my brushes and stuff just because they're all new. Which I might show you. So, yeah. Bye. These are some other horses. This is Joe. Mm -hmm. Lady Lada is her registry. I don't have any more treats on me. They're like, I want treats. Give me treats. And then Goldie's out there. She's being a heifer. She said, don't touch my ear. She likes to bite at you. He just wants a treat. He's like, what is attention though? He's not rude about it though. The other one's rude. No. Don't bite me in the face. 
Isn't he pretty? And here she comes. She said forget you, I'm going around the other side. Booty. Yeah, they're pregnant as we speak. I can't believe all this shit. She's like, what do you got in your hand? She's really spookish. Me. She wants a treat, she doesn't want attention. I mean, she'll do what you ask, kind of. No. Isn't Julie so isolated? She's like, I want a treat. Because you're fat, that's why you want a treat. Or my leg just get a move her head. She's like, what the hell are you doing? Look at your hair all messed up. Messed up. She's got a cute little blaze on her face. Aren't they cute or no? She wants a treat. <laughs> Stop being a brat. So, it's about 2.17. Luke gets out at 3.05. I am, st I don't, I'm tired of waiting. Like, I just want to go. It's going to be like a two and a half hour drive in the first place. So, hopefully I get there around five o'clock. They're an hour behind us, so it'll be like four there. But it's, it'll be five here, so... Hopefully it's still daylight. I'm gonna wake up earlier tomorrow and brush them and stuff. So hopefully it's not dark. It'll more than likely be dark when we get back. Let me put some hay in the trailer. And all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm so excited to see him. Like, super duper. Like, I'm literally just sitting here and I'm like, can we hurry on? I want to go already. Can we please go already? But, Luke's not at the school. Yeah. So, I'm gonna guess I'm just gonna keep watching Law & Order SBU. Until we go to leave. I'll see ya. guys it's Emily here and it's almost what's the time here it's, I'd say it's almost 11 30 at night and we got home around 20 minutes ago getting him settled is like he's super anxious and he hasn't been out so he's like you know that thoroughbred like he's like I'm ready to go I'm ready to move I'm ready to run I'm ready to get this and he just got a lot of pent-up energy and um so yeah, it's dark now. Um, I've got one bale of hay in there, and I've got a full thing of feed, which is awesome because he needs it. And then I'm gonna wake up in the morning and go feed him again, and then I'm gonna go buy feed. And I'll show you more. I'll probably post this the next day because it is so late at night. And because I mean, by the time whenever we got there, it was dark already. So it was dark already when we got there, so we just kind of loaded him up and I gave him a couple treats, you know, because he loaded well. And then, you know, it was about a two and a half hour drive and it was cold and windy, so he's been kind of cold. And at least I have him in a place where he's going to be able to warm up a little. Um, so yeah, I will post more pictures and videos and stuff of him tomorrow because I plan on feeding him 
and I'm gonna get him out and I'm gonna brush him real good because he's disgusting and then I'm gonna actually I'll probably feed him and then take him out and then I'll probably lunge him for a while because he's got a lot of energy that I want to get out if he does well with that and I, I like with the lunging and stuff and he lets me catch him okay then I'm gonna hopefully get on him bareback so yeah I'll keep you updated for tomorrow but in as of now I'm going to change and go to sleep because I'm tired bye so I'm here with Zip and he's just eating brushed him a little but he's still really dirty I gotta get him a curry because what I got does not work. Because he's getting it. I need to put some stuff on that. He reopened it yesterday. Or last night. But as of right now, yeah, he's settling in good. He's listening to me. He's like, Emily, who are you talking to? Got a bunch of hay right there. He got his food bowl in the corner because his water. I'm gonna get him a bigger water thing because he drinks so much. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on right now. He settled in. I brushed him a little this morning, fed him. Um, what else to do? Watered, and that's really about it. And I'm just like showing his belly and everything. <laughs> look how long his tail is. Like, I'm so glad. Like, look at it. It's got different ombres. You're just gonna watch me <laughs> as I'm talking. Yeah, this is like his little uh, tournament. Chill. So, yeah, that's what's happening. There's some little cows, headless little baby cows. So, yeah, that's what's happening right now. And then I'm gonna come back later tonight and feed him. But last night he was uh, super, super crazy. Um, yeah, he was really, really like crazy and he just didn't, he was like, it was dark. So I didn't get to get any video of him loading the trailer or getting off the trailer because it was dark and he was just like, where am I? What's happening? You know, he's kind of going crazy. So yeah, that's kind of what yesterday. And also, you know those horses that are like, are going to be in the beginning of this video. They were, he's a stallion and my horse is like a gelding. They're like, he's trying to bully him. And I'm like, this is, look at this. Oh my God. I'm like, this is my horse. You need to back away. He doesn't want your women. It's okay. I know I look awful, but I really don't care. I've been busy. He's just eating. I'm glad he's eating because he's skinny. So yeah. That's what's happening right now. I'll be back later, around seven or so. Hopefully before it gets dark to feed him. His tail needs to be brushed, it's mad. <laughs> but yeah, as of last night, the experience getting him up here, he was like super anxious and he started like blowing really hard because he was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like that's literally what we were going through last night. <laughs> And it was dark, and we had to, like, lead him just with the flashlight. And I was just like, I can't see. And then he's like, bish, just go. I want to go. And then, like, I was nervous about putting him in here because he didn't know where the fence was or anything. And I didn't want him to take a chance of running into it. So I just kind of walked him around the fence with the flashlight, you know. Probably sounds stupid, but not to me, though. Because I was like, I don't want my horse trying to kill himself and run. Just book it and not know where he's at. <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, he did all right. He's eight, he's done nothing but eat and I'm so glad. Hopefully I'm gonna try to ride him tomorrow if I can find a bridle, but if not, then I'll probably be over sometime this week, hopefully, if I don't work too late. So I'm hype. So yeah, bye.